Hey guys, so now it is February and it's a romantic month because it has Valentine's Day. So today let's make a heart made of metal. So all we need is some sulfuric acid, water, some iron, and this metal. You know what it is? The name is called Gallia metal. It's named after there's the Latin word Gallia, which means friends. Now to do the experiment, you'll need some dilute sulfuric acid solution. So let's some um, acid. Besides consistency, it's quite similar to oil. Which is why one of its old names were was oil of vitriol. So let's get the acid. To make the dilute acid, you will need a two to one ratio of water and concentrated sulfuric acid. This makes a six molar solution because 18, which is the molarity of concentrated sulfuric acid, divided by three equals six. So, let's see how much I have here. Let's gradually add the sulfuric acid to our water. <coughs> now, let me zoom in. So now that we zoomed in, let me slowly add the acid. You can see all these wavy patterns forming because the, the acid is 1.84 centimeter cubed, whereas water is one. It's an, its immense density causes it to bend light a lot more than that of water. So let's gradually add our acid because the addition will protonate some of the water molecules. And it will also end up forming a little bit of heat. Based on the percentage of sulfuric acid here, its proper name should now is of concentrated acid, battery acid. Because the concentration is still higher than 29% acid, which is the requirement to be dilute acid. And there we go, our six more sulfuric acid solution. Let's add our molten gallium metal. Gallium is like gallium is an interesting metal because its melting point is a mere 29 degrees Celsius, whereas our body temperature is 36 degrees. So it could have just melted with my hands. Okay, so here let's add gallium, the heart of our reaction. Get it? Wow, they're just like bumping together. Now oh, that's cool, isn't it everybody? <clears throat> Why this occurs is because the acid reacts with the gallium forming a substance known as gallium sulfate as a film. <clears throat> the bubbles you see is hydrogen bubbles generated from the reaction. Now all we need is a metal that's less reactive than gallium, in my case iron. So. Ready for the real heart? Well, you can see that the acid is eating away at the iron. And here, let me closely. Now, the gallium will beat like a heart.
So, did you enjoy the reaction? Why the gallium heart beat it was because first, gallium reacts with sulfuric acid to form a film of gallium-3 sulfate along with some hydrogen gas. However, the iron paper clip here is less reactive and more reactive than gallium so the electrons on the iron will jump to the gallium forming metallic gallium and iron 2 sulfate. However, when I put the iron paper clip away, the gallium will react again and forming the gallium sulfate again. However, once I put it back, it will reform as gallium metal, which is why the heart beat it. The surface tension actually goes up as gallium 3 sulfate, down as gallium metal, and then back and forth. Thanks for watching guys, and see you in our next video. Bye!